article on me for Bloomberg, and she's the reason why my account is banned right now. And she's a big ass hater herself. She can a. Anyways, I just killed an ant, and we'll just pretend that that's her. Like you know how there's voodoo dolls where you like stab them, and then you imagine it's that one person. So I'm gonna pretend that ant that I just squished in my finger and killed is her. I'm just kidding. I don't believe in voodoo. I don't believe in those voodoo dolls. Follow Jesus and follow God on all serious. In all seriousness. I'm just gonna get right into it. So I had a TikTok video um, here. We'll start with this one. You know, I find it interesting that y'all Christians are just... Y'all are so full of shit. Um, but here's the thing. This ego, this delusion, and this illusion that you're living in is really showing how your true age and... Your, na your naivety as a 16 year old and it's quite fucking disturbing nobody's hating on you you are 16 years old you are already taking advantage of by 20 year olds who should not be around you like that your mother is an alcoholic then has told you to lie on her behalf multiple times. Once, when y'all broke into the hype house, you were 15 and she told you to lie for her. And then she wants you to lie for her about, her, you know, her being a alcoholic, which is irresponsible. Secondly, your mother knows that what you're doing is inappropriate. She doesn't care. She does not care about you. She is vicariously living through you. No sensible person, especially as an adult, is going to sit here, exploit their child for predators, and let their child be honestly at high risk of child-like trafficking for fucking money and clout and views. And that's on your mom and your dad. And I hope that you can come to your senses and realize that people looking out for you are right. Your mother has just been gaslighting you to ignore um, all the people looking out for you. Your mother is extremely emotionally manipulative and probably abusive, if I'm being honest. And that's probably your dad, too, because if you had a sensible parent... They would be looking out for your best interest and a parent exploiting their child, gassing up their ego, giving them a horrible, horrible attitude, assuming that people with logic and reason and concern that are looking out for a child's safety, a teenager, a child's safety is a hater. It's very extremely disgusting it's disgusting it is fucking vile and i'm really really honestly like this fucking justice system is so fucked because she has been doing this for such a long time and the fact that cps has done nothing about it um it's fucking shocking to me and it it really shows like there's obviously some bigger fucking disgusting intent um going on here but um it would be nice if society um and also the fucking industry that is also ran by fucking pedophiles would stop fucking grooming young girls into thinking that their sexual liberation as a underage fucking person for them to get free child pornography um is liberation because it's not that it's, that it's appropriate or normal because it's not. And that everyone else calling out the fucking bullshit that is the bullshit of this bullshit are hating on them because I'm not. Because I and many other women, young women with sensible fucking adults, whether it's a mother or a dad who grew up with their parents at least having their best interest and not exploiting their child and not letting their child get into dangerous situations. I'm very fucking grateful that I spent my time 
being the child, being the teenager that I was so that I could grow up and be the adult that I am now. You have your whole fucking adult life to worry about being fucking sexy and dressing in provocative clothing. Because we know that you're probably just doing that for likes and clicks and views and male attention. Let's be fucking for real. And I know part of it is your mother telling you to do these things, which is child exploitation. And it just needs to end. It just needs to die. And I'm tired also of the motherfuckers on TikTok acting like, oh my god, well they're gonna shut down TikTok because they don't want people to have free speech as if we ever fucking had that on that fucking app. Please, let TikTok die. Let it fucking die. Because the fact that people are brazing, the fact that people are really brazing over the fact that there's just millions upon millions upon millions of fucking videos of young fucking underage girls in provocative fucking clothing and probably that have only fans i'm not even gonna lie like it's so easy to lie about your fucking age and 18 is not an adult it's still a teenager if you want to fucking argue with the fact that you know your brain doesn't fucking fully develop until you're 25 then you can accept the fact that 18 is definitely not a fucking adult you might think it is and, you know, because a bunch of people tell you you are and you might think I'm grown, I'm grown, I'm grown. But once you, I mean, even now, me being 22, I realize um, I was not fucking grown. I was a fucking mess. I was just trying to make it through the day. But, um, yeah, this attitude is awful. And um, I hope she comes to her senses because this is... I don't want another Kylie Jenner situation because Kylie Jenner's situation is just very fucking sad. It's very fucking sad. You know, they they fucking groom these little fucking girls and they take advantage of them and they fucking use them and they gas their fucking heads up. And then when they fight, you know, they finally start growing into adults with common sense and just adults in general past the age of 25, you know, they are just disposable. They, you know, are just throwaways. And then they're like constantly chasing something that isn't fucking attainable. And it's disgusting and it's sad and the cycle needs to fucking stop. Like, what has to happen, seriously, for y'all to fucking realize that this shit is not okay? Like, do millions of fucking young girls have to show up on the hub or like a fucking trafficking site or get trafficked for y'all to like wake the fuck up and stop doing this shit and stop enabling this shit and i'm talking to my generation because you know there i've seen some of people my age like 22 enable this shit and be like oh my god stop hating on her bitch don't be fucking stupid because you know damn well that your parents would not fucking allow that shit because they care about you because they know how the world works because they know what is appropriate for a child what's appropriate for a teenager and what's appropriate for an adult for an adult and the shit that is you know promoted for teens and kids to do on tiktok it's not fucking appropriate period end of fucking story for years there's just been certain fucking things pushed you know on children on teens to just wear lingerie and to wear like adult clothing and shit and that we're just supposed to fucking be okay with it as adults no let kids be kids and let teens be teens. And being a teen is not being sexual. Those things are not synonymous. I, I, And I feel like that really is just a fucking trap. It really is a trap, I feel like, to traffic young girls. Because they groom young girls into thinking doing drugs is cool. And being, you know, you know, overtly sexual is cool. And partying is cool. You want to know who also thinks that shit is cool? You want to know who is also in those fucking environments the most? People who fucking traffic children and teens and adults that want to take advantage of traffic of, of teens. Oh, we have weed. We have alcohol. We have this. Like, it's all a big fucking setup. Like, everything comes around big fucking circle. And I can't wait for it to all come crumbling fucking down. But it is so fucking sad that things have to happen on a fucking large scale. 
that are so fucking terrible for society to actually grow some fucking balls, some common sense and be like, okay, maybe we should pull the fucking plug on this shit because it's not safe. Even though I thought we were already, I thought we already went through this. I thought we already deaded this shit in like the 2010s. I thought we already knew what child exploitation was. And now, a decade later, some of y'all want to act like y'all don't fucking know what that is. And y'all don't want to fuck, and y'all want to fucking sit here and act like y'all don't know what a naive little teenager sounds like when you were probably one. When you probably thought nothing was fucking wrong. When it is, and then you grew up and you realize how fucking wrong shit is. But it shouldn't have to get to a point where someone is like taken advantage of multiple fucking times and then they're left with fucking nothing. When all it takes is a fucking sensible adult. Stop holding back. More fucking sensible adults and people need to just come the fuck out and speak the fuck up. And stop fucking treading around on fucking eggshells because fuck that shit. Because it's not getting any fucking where. It's not getting us any fucking where. And I don't want to fucking see a bunch of young girls literally be fucking trafficked. And end up on fucking multiple fucking sites. Because y'all don't want to fucking do anything about it. And then it goes to more extremes that kids are doing it. When it really shouldn't matter because both kids and teens are not developed as people. Period. End of fucking story. So let's all, as a society, agree to stop enabling this bullshit. Stop acting like we don't already know what we fucking know. What? And stop acting like our parents didn't fucking protect us from the dangers of this fucking world. They were looking out for us, even if they weren't perfect fucking parents. At least they weren't fucking exploitative. At least they weren't fucking 40 year olds with the mind of a fucking 12 year old vicariously living through their fucking daughter. Like, be fucking for real. And some of y'all don't need to fucking have kids. There are some people that don't need to have kids. And this is a fucking clear example. Because it's very fucking sad how many people vicariously live through their fucking children. And manipulate their fucking children. You know, away from people with common sense. I see this happen a lot. Where I see the most shitty fucking parents, you know, try to fucking villainize the motherfuckers with common sense so that they are isolated from what is right and continuously caught up in what is fucking wrong and i wish the justice system was actually just for once because no kid should be in an environment like this because this is just fucking dangerous And the fact that people are acting like, you know, this is fucking normal and that we should just all graze over this shit is like crazy. It's crazy. I mean, it takes nothing for it. Like, really, really think about it. It takes nothing for a young girl like Jenny fucking Popich or any of these other young girls for that matter to be caught up in some fucking bullshit and be taken advantage of or taken away somewhere to never be fucking seen again because motherfuckers are gassing them up and manipulating them into thinking that this shit is okay and that it's normal and that everyone else looking out for them is hating on them do y'all not see how fucked up it is like truly if someone could do that even to a young adult to a young vulnerable adult that it's happened many fucking times like why do you want these girls to be in fucking danger like this i don't understand i do not fucking understand i do not fucking understand use your common sense for once please 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 for the love of fucking god Please understand how fucking dangerous this is and how easy these girls are being set up to be fucking targets of literal fucking trafficking. Get a fucking brain cell. Thank you.